lesson number one, there's one thing I overlooked, and uh, so I don't want to overlook it here in lesson number two. That is uh, one of the most important things of all, the hand position. What you should do is drop your hands at your side, completely relaxed. And now with your hand dropped to your side, full weight extending from your shoulder down to your hand, with your hand perfectly relaxed, you'll notice that your hand assumes actually a rather good hand position. That is a natural hand position for your hand. The fingers are automatically curved when relaxed. And then it remains for you to just take that hand and place it upon the keyboard and that will be the hand position that's going to work best for you. And so picking up where we left off the last time, what we're going to do this time is instead of the thumb to the second finger, we're going to go second finger to third finger. Nice, even, uh, smooth connections and trapping the notes as we go, like this. And then coming down an octave. Then try and set a third finger to fourth finger. Doing the exact same thing. Just keep your hand nice and relaxed. Then fourth finger to fifth finger. This might feel a little bit funny. Fourth fingers to fifth fingers in both hands I know are always the harder ones. And then of course do the same with the left hand that I just showed in the right hand. You'll just be going in opposite directions. Second finger, third finger to fourth. And fourth finger to fifth. Down an octave and up an octave. All right, well, we're gonna branch out now and instead of doing just single notes, we're going to go to the interval of a third. So you put your thumb and your third finger and they'll automatically be on C and E. And you're going to go up to 2 and 4. You're going to trap those notes with the thumb and the third finger. And then continue on. down, do the same of course with the left hand, down and up. Now we're going to go ahead to the thumb and the fourth finger. The way to do that is go up to the second and fifth finger, trap those notes with the thumb and the fourth finger, and go ahead. to go up and then just of course reverse the process coming down naturally the same in the left hand and finally to the fifth finger the thumb and fifth finger going upwards and you're going to have to put your fourth finger where the fifth finger is now and then go up to 2 and 5, the next interval. Slip the thumb where the 2 is, the 4th where the 5th finger was. Kind of inch your way up that way. All the way down, then do the same with the left hand all the way down and up. Now we'll expand from the fifth, we'll go up six notes. But this is going to work just like uh, five notes, the same sort of fingering. We'll capture the fifth finger first with the fourth finger, then we'll be able to slip the second finger onto the D, and get our thumb in there. 
and inch our way up the keyboard up and all the way down same thing with the left hand um, I'm going to try to uh, have you play at least a little bit of a semblance of a melody today uh, one thing that's uh, very very important with organ playing are uh, attacks and releases in other words when you have several notes at a time make sure when you go to play those notes they go down all at the same time and you release them at the same time nice and precise not any sloppy stuff you know no just precise all right leave that hand where it is and put the thumb on the C below middle C and the fifth finger will naturally fall onto the F and here's just a beginning little exercise at least you can play a semblance of a cadence done this way Slip the second finger where the third finger was on the E and the fourth finger on the G. Now you'll be able to go up a third, hold the thumb down the whole time, then come back, substitute those fingers. I'll do that again so you can watch it. practice in holding one note down the whole time while you have the other fingers creeping along. Now let's play it with both hands. You'll stay on the C until it's time to, to uh, go down to the F and then cadence back to the C. It'll sound like this. Oh, here's the cadence. We'll just go ahead. We'll, we'll take a slight breath almost like an amen, and then come back to there. So now a few more basics uh, mastered and we're going to start bringing uh, some actual music into the picture in the next tutorial.